Have you ever wondered about the differences between the Brittany and the Boxer? Well, in today's video, we will be comparing these two powerful, full of life, large guardian dogs. the Fenrir Brittany Show. If this is your first time here then my name is Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything that we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you to become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we will be comparing these two beautiful breeds. First let's take a look into the history of the Brittany. The Brittany was first bred in France in the province of Brittany. They were used for their pointing and retrieving skills and they excelled at smelling out and hunting down birds. The first documentation of the Brittany can be traced back all the way to paintings and tapestries from the 17th century. Brittany's were first known as the Brittany Spaniel, however in 1982 the word Spaniel was dropped from their name. In 1907 a French breed club was formed and was quickly followed up by the first breed standard in 1908. The breed was first recognised in America in 1931 and in 1934 the American Kennel Club added the breed to their list of recognised breeds. Today the Brittany is the smallest of breeds in the gun dog category. Now let's look into the long history of the Boxer. The Boxer's ancestors have been traced back all the way to 2500 BC as war dogs but they looked a little different back then. They are part of the Molossa and Mastiff family and are classed as working dogs. The Boxer's appearance as we know it today originated from Germany. Boxers have been bred down from larger German breed called the Bullenbeiser, which translated means bull biter. These bull and bison were used by the nobles in medieval times to hunt down large game and as time went on the bull and bison were bred with smaller mastiff type breeds. Boxers have their name due to the way that they fight and play with their front paws much like a boxer in a fighting ring. Boxers have been used for many jobs over the years such as war dogs, police dogs, cattle dogs, protection dogs, watch dogs and even guide dogs. They are held in such high regard that they are still today voted one of America's top 10 breeds. The Brittany is a medium sized breed with a gorgeous coloured coat that sets them apart from looking similar to other dogs. They come in orange and white and liver and white coat colours. Both male and female Brittanies stand at 17 to 20 inches at the withers and weigh between 30 and 40 pounds. They are a strong looking dog that always look alert. They have a medium sized skull and medium sized muzzle with triangular ears that are set high on the head. They have long strong legs, a deep chest and a short back. Brittany's usually have amber or hazel coloured eyes and an eyebrow which is expressive. Their body length should be the equivalent of their height. Brittany's have a dense flat or wavy coat and they should be brushed twice a week to ensure that their coat stays clean and free of tangles. They only require a bath every three or four months or if they get particularly dirty after a walk. Boxers are very easily recognised short hair breed. Although many boxers used to have dock tails and ears this practice has been banned in many countries. They come in a variety of coat colours including the two most recognised fawn and brindle. Usually both of these colours also have flashes of white often across the boxers feet. Undercarriage, neck or face. They can come in other less recognised colours like the reverse brindle which is fawn stripes on a black body or completely white boxers which are not recognised by the UK Kennel Club or American Kennel Club. Did you know that boxers do not carry the black gene so you will never see a fully black boxer. Boxers are very muscular and lean dogs. Males usually weigh around 30 to 36 kilograms and grow to around 25 inches and females around 22 to 30 kilograms growing to 21 to 25 inches. They must be kept active to keep their fit physique and muscled body. The Brittany is at heart a working and hunting dog and has a tremendous amount of stamina, speed and character. By nature they are energetic and active dogs that love to be kept busy. They make wonderful family pets and companion dogs for people who lead a more active outdoor lifestyle and they'll be great company on long walks, hikes or bike rides but you could also get them involved in dog sports like agility and fly ball as they would thrive at these and it would help meet their energy requirements. When training your Brittany it is important to get a head start and carry this out as early as possible. They have the ability to be well rounded obedient dogs but this comes with work and excellent socialisation. 
A Brittany that is not well trained in early life has the potential to run off at the sight of anything interesting in the distance. Fortunately, they are very intelligent dogs and are usually easy to train. Boxers are known for their well-balanced, all-rounded temperament. They are a very playful, friendly and energetic breed. It's best to take your boxer out for a walk for between 30 to 45 minutes a day. On very hot and cold days, they should be taken out for short walks. Boxers also require the chance to be able to run around two to three times a week. This can be done in a fenced backyard or if your boxer has good recall, then in fields whilst out on a walk. Boxers are very loyal to their owners and family, but will defend their homes instinctively from intruders when they feel they need to. This is because they were bred to be protection dogs in previous years. Boxers can become bored very quickly, which could lead to undesired behaviours such as chewing, licking or digging things that they shouldn't. So plenty of problem solving puzzles and toys are a good investment with this breed. Boxers respond best when training to positive reinforcement techniques. They also respond well to clicker training and plenty of treats. They're relatively easy to train and adapt well to both large houses and apartment living, and they're really easy to groom. Brittany's are a popular choice and are an excellent choice for people with families because they're very gentle dogs, especially when they're around children, but their energy levels can sometimes overwhelm small children. Please make sure that like any other breed, you supervise the time spent between children and dogs so that you can make sure that the playtime does not get too boisterous. Brittany's will also get on well with other dogs, especially if they have been well socialised as a young puppy. You must remember though that this breed is a hunter and you must take into account their strong hunting instincts and take care when they are around smaller pets and animals. If they grow up with other pets and animals, they are usually fine, but they may still feel the need to chase off any stray cats that crosses their path. Boxers are usually good with children as they are patient and gentle. They also recognise the need to be gentle with smaller dogs and puppies too. With lots of socialisation from puppyhood, they have no issues being raised alongside other pets and they're not usually an aggressive breed. They can, however, struggle slightly with dogs bigger than themselves, especially ones of the same sex. And it's important to try and introduce them to bigger dogs as much as possible whilst they're still puppies to prevent them from having any issues in the future. Both the Brittany and the Boxer are great family guardians that are best for experienced, calm, consistent leaders. They're certainly both energetic and playful by nature and require a lot of training and socialisation to ensure that they become polite, well-rounded dogs. Both of these breeds would be a fantastic addition to families with young and older children. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget that if you're new here to make sure that you subscribe. We have two dedicated Brittany videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Brittany Show.